Hey guys, welcome back to Cycle Fed. Today I want to show all of you how I clean rust out of a gas tank. Now, this is something that I've been doing for years, not just with motorcycle tanks, but lawnmower tanks, boat tanks, any gas tank that's made of metal that rusts. This is how I get rust out of the tank, okay? It's super easy and most importantly, it's cheap. It's very inexpensive. There are products out there and these are good products. I have used one of them in the past. There's three that I'm going to show you. Uh, a vapor rust being one of them. Now that's the one that I've used before. It works great, but it's $28.95 a gallon. I, that's why. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good product, but you don't need to spend that much money in order to get rust out of a gas tank. That's what I'm getting at here. Now there's another product out there called Rust 911. $59.95 is what it sells for, for a gallon. It is a concentrate, it treats up to 16 gallons. In other words, you get 16 gallons out of this stuff. And it works out to be $3.75 a gallon, which is still higher than what I pay for what I use per gallon. Uh, I've never used this 911 stuff. Uh, it may be good, it may not be good. I have no earthly idea. I'm just letting you guys know what I have found out there. And this is just a quick review over what's on Amazon. And you know, there's another one made by a very reputable company, WD-40, called Specialist Rust Remover for $21.25 a gallon. I'm sure it's good. Uh, like I said, I've never used it. WD-40 makes good products, but I'm not gonna pay $21.25 for a gallon of chemical that well, you know, yeah, it works, but I need more than a gallon. I gotta fill this thing up, okay? This is probably about a three and a half, four gallon tank. I doubt if it's four, but yeah, three something anyway. Well, I gotta fill it all the way up and not at that price, uh-uh, no. There, there's a much easier way and this, this is what it is right here. Here it is, right here, bam. White vinegar from Walmart, yeah. $2.67 a gallon. It, you, you can't beat this stuff. It, it works so easily. Anyway, I want to go over the process of how I use this to get this clean for literally a, just a few dollars, all right? And the only time that you have to spend on it is the time that it takes to let this sit, which with the other ones, you have to let them sit also. So, so you're beating your wallet to death uh, by buying the other stuff in my opinion but you know that's an opinion so let's go ahead and get with this and go outside and I'll show you the first step in cleaning this but before I do that I want to show you what the inside of this tank looks like it's bad it's been sitting since 1993 there's a lot of accumulation of rust fortunately there's not a lot of miles on it so it hasn't had a lot of crud through it although it is nasty I have seen worse so let's take a look at that you can see here on the inside of the walls and just, just looking down into the neck first off, uh, right there, it's in your face, there's rust right on the tunnel. Now, as I go down inside, you can see debris scaling that has settled down into the bottom of the tank. Uh, the first process of cleaning this tank, we will remove that. You wanna remove as much as possible before you start using the vinegar. Here's another view of the side of the tank on the inside. Uh, this is the far side, the left side of the tank. Uh, you can see it's, it's scaled up pretty good, but not to the point that it has rusted all the way through. So this tank is very salvageable. Okay guys, this is the first thing that I do when I go to remove rust from the tank. Uh, this is the first in the process. And initially all it is is just a water hose with a high pressure nozzle on it and what I'm going to do is just blast all that residue out of there. It's going to take two or three times and dump it over, get it out, get it done out of the way with just water. Then I want to go back, dishwashing soap and use that. And what that does is any kind of dirt, crud that's still left in there, it's going to help break that up and flush that out. Then flush it out again and let it dry. So let's get to this. Now, on some tanks that have an offset cap, it's kind of hard to get over into the other side, so you just keep flooding it, turning it over, rinsing it out, flood it again, same process, 
over and over. This tank actually isn't that bad on the inside. And that's just after rinsing it out with water. Okay, now I add a little bit of soap and just repeat the same process. And just a real cheap dishwashing soap will work. Ajax. Okay, you're going to want to make sure that you get all the soap out of there. The reason why is because it will kind of counteract the vinegar process. Vinegar, all it is, is a very mild acid, and the soap will just kill that. So make sure you get all the soap out of there. There can be some water left. That'll be okay with just a little wet, not, you know, like a cup or two full of water. But just get everything out of this tank that you can, especially the soap. Okay, I don't hear anything rattling around, and it actually looked pretty good. I mean, it's still rusted on the inside, but not near like it was. Uh, like I said, this is just to get the excess residue out. The stuff that's laying in the bottom and still kind of sort of stuck on the sides of the tank. And that's what this does is knock that out, any kind of dirt in there. The soap releases that, gets flushed out. Now we're ready to go to the next process. I'll fill this all the way to the brim. That's what I was saying about the more expensive rust cleaners for uh, fuel tanks. I mean, it makes sense to me. You would have to, you know, fill the tank all the way up to the brim with them. And, you know, $22, $21 pop. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. Now, the Rust 911, yeah, you can, it's a concentrate. You can turn it into 16 gallons of mixed rust inhibitor, I mean, rust cleaner. But st still, that's 50 bucks, and I'm not going to spend that much money. Not when I've got vinegar. Vinegar works great. Now, obviously, I'm not worried about the outside of this tank. I'm going to repaint it anyway. And there's a dent on, I think, the left side that I've got to take care of. Just a very minor one anyway. Also with those other ones, they say they're odorless. Well, vinegar really doesn't have that much of an odor anyway. You can smell it. I mean, yeah, it smells like vinegar, but it's not just totally potent. All right, three and a half gallons. Okay, got the vinegar out of the tank, and this is what came out of it. This clump of nasty stuff. There's almost two handfuls of rust that came out of here, big hunks of it, that was still stuck to the inside of this tank. Now, you saw when I blasted it out with water, that knocked a lot of the debris out, and you could see that debris from the pictures that I showed you, just sediment sitting down the bottom of the tank. Well, that's what the water got out. The rust that's still stuck to the side of the tank, the large scales of rust, that's what the vinegar gets out. The vinegar is the workhorse. That is what mainly does the job on this tank. And I'll get to you in just a moment about what I use after that, but I just want to show you a few before and after pictures here of what this tank looked like before and what it looks like now. And you can see the comparison here. It's night and day, really. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is put muriatic acid in here. Now, this is a three and a half gallon tank. So I'm gonna use probably about a half a gallon of muriatic acid, then seal the top of the tank with some really good tape. Of course, put my eye protection on. We're gonna go outside and do this and just swish it around in there. Now, you do not leave that sit in here. I do not leave it sit in here for minutes at all. You know, this is just like 40 seconds. And what it will do is it will knock out that little bit of etching rust or that flash rust that happens whenever you clean the tank. If you don't treat it with, you know, oil right afterwards, it's going to flash rust. But it's just minuscule. You can pretty much spit on it and rub it off. It's not thick rust. We got the bad rust out. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this done, get outside, and I'll show you guys that process. Okay, as you can see, I've got my PPE on, my large rubber gloves that go all the way up to my shoulders, and my eye protection. Anyway, I wanna go ahead and pour this in. Already got the tape cut. I'll lay the tape over it, slosh it around. Like I said, I do this for no longer than probably 40 seconds, maybe a minute, and that, takes care of everything. It's kind of like a 
After the sanding, it's the wax. I don't know. Whatever analogy you want to use. This just takes it a little bit further. The vinegar actually is good enough if you're going to seal it right afterwards. And even if you're not going to seal it right afterwards, you put a preservative on the inside of the tank in case you can't get to it for two or three weeks. That's perfectly all right. I use Caswell for a sealer and I'll be using that on this tank, but I've always done it, used muriatic acid. It, I just like to take it that one extra step. Like I've said, you don't have to, vinegar is fine, but this is me and that's the way I do it. So let's go ahead and get this in there and I'll show you guys how to do this. Now I've also got a big plastic container over here to my right that when I get done here, that's what I'm going to dump the acid into and then dispose of it in the proper way after I neutralize it. It's probably not a bad idea to have some baking soda over here because that will neutralize the acid if you get it on you. But if you're careful, you won't. This is why I like to use really good tape on this. This, this here is 3M tape. Uh, and the reason why I normally use Gorilla tape, but I ran out. Now, like I said, I'm going to be refinishing this tank, so I'm not really worried about what the outside of it looks like. If I get some acid on it, no big deal. Uh, typically, acid on top of paint or clear coat actually doesn't hurt it that much it's if you get it off pretty quickly. And all you do is just roll this. Okay, that should be enough. Now comes the fun part and try not to get this on me. I gotta take my glove off to get this tape off. Oh yeah. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. Smoking too. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to beat muriatic acid. Now right after the muriatic acid, like I said, I don't have my dishwashing soap out here. I'll have to go and get it, but it's just right over there. I pour this out into the tank. Yeah, it's clean. I mean, it is white clean. I'll Show you some close-up pictures. I'll go down inside the tank with the lens that I have and uh, we'll get some real good close-ups. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of the tank and I'll show you the seam where the top and the bottom part of the tank is put together. And you can see here where it's all rusty and nasty before I did the treatment to it. And now after the vinegar and the muriatic acid and washing it down, it's the difference between night and day. I mean, th these are two totally different things. It is a beautiful gray, which is exactly what you want. No corrosion, no impurities, nothing, just raw steel. And that's what I'm able to achieve by just using vinegar and a little bit of hydrochloric acid. And I've seen videos out there, well, not the whole video, but the title that hydrochloric acid is, you know, has a bad rap. Well, you got to be careful with it. I mean, it's acid. Uh, treat it with respect. Now, I don't use that much. I only use a half a gallon on a three and a half gallon tank and swashed it around for, I don't know, 40 seconds to a minute and then properly disposed of it. It's, it's not that hard to work with, but the benefits you get from it are just far above and beyond. Now, you don't have to use muriatic acid if you just use vinegar, that's okay too. But you cannot let it sit. It will get that flash rust appearance. So if you're just going to use vinegar, that's fine. Like I said, let it sit 24 to 48 hours. Wash it out, pour it out, wash it out, use soap on it, dry it out, then come back. And what I use to treat the inside of these tanks with before I put a sealer on them is WD-40. That's it. And that keeps it from rusting until I'm ready to work with the tank in the way of putting a sealer on the inside of it because sometimes I just can't get right to them. Anyway, the WD-40 works great for that. And to get the WD-40 out, all I do is I put acetone in here, swatch it around, pour it out, or lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner is stronger. I always have lacquer thinner or acetone laid around. So I just pour it through the tank, works great, knocks it right out. It it's, just works fantastic. So that's the reason why I use this. And like I said, the cost difference between vinegar and all the other rust annihilators or, you know, get rid of rust chemicals, 
uh, just, you know, <laughs> the cost just isn't there. So I always go with vinegar. Vinegar works. And anyway, thanks for watching and tune in next week. If you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.